everyone! Today we're going to learn about a technique in knitting that you probably have seen mention of and you may or may, know, may not know what it means. The two techniques are tinking and frogging. You're going to kind of do a little bit of both today. So we're going to start by frogging. Let's talk about first of all why it's called frogging. I don't like to do this. I don't do this often. I don't want to discuss this. I don't want emails about this. <laughs> I don't want to talk about having done this. But this is me taking one for the team. We call it frogging because you take it off the needles and you rip it, rip it, rip it. All right, that's it. We're not discussing that any further and we're not doing that again, okay? Okay, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. So I've discovered that I have this little hole in my work right here. Can you see that? I didn't go too far down because I'm using this piece for several samples for videos, but you can kind of get the idea. So I could tank. Tank is knit spelled backwards, and it means taking out one stitch at a time. But not knowing what it is I did, sometimes tanking is difficult. If you know that you knitted instead of purled, or you purled instead of knitted, and the row needs to come out, that's when you tank. When you have a mistake that you're not sure how you did it, you're not sure what it is, um, you're not sure quite how to fix it, the best thing to do is to frog just past it, put your stitches back on the needles, and then go forward. So the important thing to remember when you're frogging is you have to count the number of rows you take out if you're keeping track. If you're not keeping track and you're just doing stockinette, which I'm doing, you'll be okay. But if you're doing a pattern, you need to keep track of exactly how many you take out. Okay, so to frog this, I am going to just take my stitches right off the needle. I know that gives some of you a heart attack, but really, this is okay. I'm going to show you the easy way to do this. And then I'm going to rip. See, I just start pulling until my problem goes away. Well, I still kind of have a gap there, but my problem is gone. I don't have a hole anymore. But, you know, it still looks wrong. So I'm just going to take out this row. And then I'm going to take out one more until it looks up oh, there it goes I could feel it see that and now my problem is gone so when I get to the end now I'm gonna flip it over because I'm gonna put my stitches back on the needle from left to right some people do this the opposite this is the way I do it so this is the way I'll show you okay then what I'm gonna do this is key it's not hard but it's key I pinch if you look at my middle finger and my thumb I am pinching below the stitch that I'm about to take out I use my index finger I just lift the yarn and then my needle goes in from front to back into that stitch that just came off. Again, I'm going to pull the yarn out and my needle goes front to back through the stitch. And I'm just pinching gently. You don't need to white knuckle, guys. I don't want anybody telling me how bad their arthritis got while they were taking out. It shouldn't. It should be pretty straightforward. But by pinching it, what happens is that stitch can't drop. You know, we all get a little bit nervous about the stitch dropping when we go to take it out. And I know you guys frequently tell me, oh, you make this look so easy, or how'd you get so good at this? I got good at this because of you guys. So now it's your chance. While we're sheltered in place or we're stuck at home, this is a chance to improve on your skills. I really recommend that you practice this with a gauge first. You may not have a choice. You may have to just go with it, but try it with a gauge. I know it seems like you're wasting your time. I promise you, if you're following these videos, you won't be wasting your time. You have the opportunity to learn a lot here, and I hope you'll take it. I'm at the very last stitch. I'm going to do this, but I'm accidentally going to take it out too far because the last stitch is really easy to get to go too far. <gasps> oh, look at that. So now I'm back on this one, which means this stitch, I went too far. So I'm going to put it on the other needle. And then I'm just going to turn it back around, rework it, and I'm all set. So there you have it. That is the easy way to frog a piece. We did it on stockinette. I'm sure I'll do another video on something more difficult, probably some lace, but for now that's at least a start. I hope it helps. Happy knitting, everyone.